I'm cutting the new hand spa Kogi bracket from this old oven tray. I'm working on a design for a bracket that fits on the new hand spa which takes the tip Kogi. Here is the new hand spa and the Kogi has to fit about here. The Kogi goes something like this. It folds up, it's in that position. When flying, it's about in that position. So I have to make a, a bracket that goes around this hand spa and allows this Kogi to hinge. A design I've come up with is a piece of sheet aluminium which wraps around the hand spa. It splits two parts here to take the hose clamps clamp in the middle, gripping the tube thoroughly, and the bracket here takes the Kogi. One end of the bracket will have be closed off to provide shear strength. The first part of the bracket which is represented by this cardboard template will be cut from this piece of aluminium which was a roasting tray. The shear web will be cut from this aluminium which was once a cookie tray. I'm in the process of forming a little shear web to use in the Kogi bracket. Here I've got an old level which has square edges and I've uh, used clamps here and uh, then I'm bending over a flange. I'm also turning over the ends to stiffen the metal using these vice grip pliers. I'm starting to assemble the new Kogi clamp for the hand spa. This vice grip here is an excellent way of holding a, plate, a piece in place before pop riveting. I've drilled the holes here to hold the shear web. I can then rivet it and then wrap this bracket around the tube which is the same size as the hand spa tube. And then rivet the top here onto here. Assembling this Kogi bracket is proving quite tricky. I think it was a mistake to rivet on the she rib first on one side. It makes it more difficult form. The bracket is finally assembled with lots of difficulty. 
the next one on the next one I will not assemble this shear web first. Now it remains to bend around these tabs here so that I can add these uh, cable clamps. Here it is. The new hands bar, the new Kogi bracket, the original cardboard template and the metal pieces that make up the next one.